Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome to the final level of the Lion King for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is the big showdown with Uncle Star, and here we go. This whole level is pretty much a boss battle. It's a three-phase battle. And it, it can be a pretty long fight. There are a few good strategies though to employ to make this battle go a lot faster. In my old Let's Play of this game, um, I actually just did this the whole time, which works, but it takes a hell of a long time. But it's actually a much better strategy to beating Scar in a very timely manner. So you can pounce, you can, it's a little risky because you can get hit, but you can pounce on him and pretty much just unleash a flurry of s swipes. Look at that. Look at how many hits we get in there. And already the first stage, or the first phase of the battle is done. This is the three phase battle, as I said before. So I'd highly recommend doing that. You could also try to throw him. But if you fail at a throw, Scar pretty much claws your face off. So you really don't want to fail at throwing. Um, so and if you want to play it safe and you're not comfortable with that whole pouncing thing, you can just do this little one-two combo here and it would kill him pretty quickly. So you just gotta... Um, well, actually no, it would take a little while to kill him, but you probably wouldn't take any damage and it would be a safe way to go. Especially if this is like your first time through this part. I'd recommend doing that, but I love the pouncing thing. Wow, that really saves time. There's a little health item there. So we do have to go through these little platforming segments um, between each phase. It's a three-phase boss, and I really do like the lightning effects, too. We get some pretty cool lightning. We gotta watch out for the fire, of course. Now, oddly enough, hyenas can just kind of stand in the fire without taking any damage at all, which is really stupid, but... It's video game logic. Don't question it. It's just, it is what it is. Right, it's a pretty tough jump here. There we go. Made it. And here's phase two. All right, Scar, come on, bring it on. You, you have nothing against my new, newfound pouncing ability. You gotta watch out though. If you don't do it just right, you will take kind of a lot of damage. There we go. Look at that. Look at all those hits. And yeah, usually he kind of does hit you back sometimes too. Bam! Die! Look at that. I love it. I love it. And he's already defeated in phase two. I don't know if you watched my old Let's Play of this. It was about a year ago, give or take. But it took a damn long time to beat him, doing it my old way. This is much, much better. I love it. Alright, so if we jump up here, I believe this health. Yep, there it is. Excellent. We'll grab that. Fall back down. Now this segment's actually pretty tricky. You can't actually die on these platforming stages, which is kind of a pain. I really hope I don't die, because that would be annoying. And even if you fall, climbing all the way back up is, is also irritating. There we go, get rid of him. Jump up these ledges. So now we're going to the final phase. Like, look at the background. Look at the flames and the sky. It's awesome. I love this level. Oh, jeez. I forgot about this part. You gotta jump on, like, the right... You gotta see where the lightning strikes. Oh, slow down. Epic slow down. And you gotta jump wherever the lightning does not strike. And the fire will go out eventually, and you could jump to more platforms. I think the fire goes out over there, so I can jump up here now. Or maybe not, because I landed on that platform by accident. Let's try that again. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Okay, let's try that again. With a little less fail this time. Get up there. Jump, jump, I say, jump. All right, here we go. Now I know what to do. Ah, <laughs> maybe not. Grab that platform. I think we have to jump up that one. Down this one. Then this fire should go out. Yep. Up here. I need some health, actually. Then up. No. That's a tough jump to make. Damn. The hell. Alright, come on. That fire is going to go out. Does this fire go out up here? Apparently not. Although that's, that's a tricky jump. I don't know how I'm going to make that. Damn. All right, let's try this again. I don't want to die. That would be really stupid. Like, really stupid. Okay. Here we go. Jump. Fall. Yeah, I don't remember. Fall down here. Jump up here. Can't beat the lightning. The lightning goes faster than I do. All right, jump up here. Now jump up there. Wow, I made that. All right, now we're jump up here. Jump up here. Where to now? Huh. Over here. Oh, that way. Okay. 
That works. Jump up here. All right, there's the final battle arena right up there. Here we go. And my health is a little low, so I do have to watch out a little bit. Get out of there. Seems to break out of that pounce now. There we go. That was a good hit. I also don't want to get trapped in the corner, so I'm going to try to push him back a little bit if I can. Yeah, look at that. Push him back. Now, jump on him. Oh, look at that. That was awesome. Again. Oof. Just kick his ass. Oh, and he's already dead. Look at that. He can't do anything now. He's not even going to try to fight back. So what you do, he's dead. Look at him. He can't even, he can't even move. You push him all the way to the edge. Now, go all the way to the edge. Go all the way to the edge. You stupid Uncle Scar. You thought you could get away with this. I don't think so. And then you throw him off. And that's it. It's done. The Lion King is beaten. And the rightful king makes his return to the throne. As you get this epic ending sequence, it's pretty cool. You get the classic music. Triumphant roar in the rain. Puts out the fires. And Simba returns as king. That's it, folks. This has been The Lion King. Man, what an awesome story. What an awesome game. What an awesome adventure. This is fantastic. So there's Simba. Taking the place of his father. Avenging the throne. And securing victory. And we also get this awesome music, too. Listen. I could sing, but I, I'd rather not. A perfect ending to a perfect platformer based on The Lion King. That's it. It's done. The circle of life. Everything the light touches. Is our kingdom. And indeed, everything the light touches is our kingdom. The Lion King. So of course we get this great music as the credits roll. I uh, just want to say that this game is a phenomenal platformer for the Super Nintendo. I think it's also released for the Genesis too. So that might be worth checking out. It might be worth your time, especially if you want a, a quick yet enjoyable platform. I mean, this only takes like, what, an hour to beat? But... It's fantastic. Uh, it really hits on all the strong points of the movie. I mean, it even includes this song at the end. Uh, it's just fantastic. Um, so I'd highly recommend it. Uh, and yeah, I was really, really glad to actually go back and replay this game. Um, I wanted to give the game proper justice, and I think I did just that. Uh, the Scar battle didn't last forever this time, so <laughs> that's always a good, a good, uh, good sign. And there we go. There's the credits. To the tune of Can You Feel the Love Tonight? And wonderful 16 bits. It's just great. It's fantastic. Oh man, this is fantastic though. This game is so great. To just pick up and play for like an hour, it's wonderful. It can be very tough though. As you saw, some of those levels are not easy. So even though this is, I guess you could say, a kid's movie, quote unquote, this is definitely not a kid's game. Like, this delivers a fair challenge through and through, so. But it's also not an unfair challenge either, so that's always good. I think it's like the perfect blend of relaxing, like the first few levels are nice and even, you know, for all ages can get through them, but those later levels uh, take a, quite a bit of skill to get through, so. Gotta give uh, the designers here, um, you know, credit for making such an amazing game. And that's it. This is the end of Let's Play The Lion King for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. What a fantastic game, huh? I think so, anyway. You can listen to this wonderful music, too, for a little while, until it fades back to the title. All right, now there is one additional feature I wanted to show off of The Lion King before we call it a day. 
Um, in the options menu, there's actually a secret menu that can be accessed. I guess one of the programmers put his own name in there, which is kind of clever. If you type Barry on the options menu, B-A-R-R-Y, A-R-R-Y, you access the secret menu here. Um, now in the secret menu, you can actually get invincibility if you want, uh, which can, um, invincibility on, obviously, you don't get hit by anything, you won't take any damage. Of course, you can still fall in, like, lava and stuff and die, but that's pretty cool. If you put it on easy, I think you take, like, very, very little damage from anything that attacks you. And, of course, you can you can even skip levels, so that's a pretty cool feature. You can access it, you know, as many times as you want. B-A-R-R-Y. Look at that. We're right back in. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, can we choose a level? We can go even to the bug hunts, the bug toss levels. Uh, you can, yeah, it's really, really fantastic that there's this level skip feature in here. It's a really cool little secret, too, if I do say so myself. So if we it go to start, starts. it starts. Indeed, it does. You start right at the bug hunt. So look at that. This has been Shadow Mario 41. This is Let's Play The Lion King. Let's do one last bug hunt, shall we? And hopefully not epic fail. Come on, there we go. Look at that. Timon will close out the video with his bug hunt. What an awesome character. What an awesome way to end. See you guys later. Ciao.